is up guys, it is Joe here and I am with Zach and we are doing our WWE 2019 Money in the Bank predictions. predictions. Yeah, let's get right into it. So starting things off, we got the kickoff show, we got the Cruiserweight Championship match between Tony Nese and Araya Davari. Zach, who's winning? I want Tony to retain. Tony's retaining. There's there's just no doubt about it. He literally won it at WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, and he put on a good match at uh, Mania. Exactly. So, Tony Nese is winning yeah. the Cruiserweight Championship match, retaining the title. On to the next. So next up, we've got the... Uh, it was rumoured to be the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match, but the titles are not actually on the line, as of, I've seen at the moment. So it might be, it might not be. Either way, I think the result is going to remain the same. The current champs, Daniel Bryan and Rowan versus The Usos. The Eco Warriors are winning. Daniel yeah, Bryan. Yeah, there's Rowan. no point in them winning it like the week or two before and then losing just on the pay per view. Yeah, no, there's just no, there's no point. No, not at all. So, on to the next match. So, on the main card, the first match is the United States Championship match between Samoa Joe and Rey Mysterio. Who's winning? Samoa Joe. Yeah, I think Samoa yeah. Joe is going to win. I believe there might actually be some Dominic interference, maybe. Yeah. Um, where Joe, you know completely fucks up Dominic at ringside or something yeah. um, and Ray gets disqualified or maybe yeah. well, um, they've, they've been doing a bit more with Ray these past few weeks they've yeah. been doing a bit more so I reckon it'll be well it has to be a longer match than Mania and yeah. it will be a good match so I think it's going to culminate mm. with Ray winning the belt maybe at SummerSlam or yeah. s like maybe if they, if they could push this through to Survivor Series you never know uh, but maybe or the Saudi show it could happen there yeah. no idea Rey Mysterio is not winning this this time round though. Samoa Joe's retaining yeah. his championship. 100%. On to the next match. So the next match we've got the Miz versus the best in the world. <coughs> so proclaimed Shane McMahon. And who's winning? The Miz has to win. Do you think he has to win because What's the point in Shane winning? True, but do they want to keep this going till SummerSlam as well? I don't know. I think maybe Lashley will get involved. Um, Elias will get involved, maybe. Well, let's face it. The Miz won at Mania, but no, they, yeah. But obviously Shane officially got the pin. won. Yeah. But we all know Miz won. But they they've got to let Miz win this to kind of cement it all and put it all to rest. I think they're going to end it at SummerSlam. I'm going with Shane for this one. But, you know, you're going for Miz. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going for, for Shane. It's the first one we're different. Zach's not actually going to be watching Money in the Bank with me. Uh, so my reactions will be me by myself. Yeah. However, uh, he, we are still doing predictions together. Yeah. So, on to the next match. Roman Reigns oh, versus Elias. On three. Who's winning? Ready? One, two, three. Roman, Roman. Reigns is winning of this match. Of course he's winning. Of course he's winning. He's not being, obviously, he's not being booked as much. Um, in the main event scene, anyway. Yeah, the, he's more of a mid-carder now, which is what they need to be doing because he's yep. just come back. Everyone loves him now. They don't want him to be shoved down our throats and we certainly don't want that all exactly. over again. Um, yeah, we kind of want him to be here for a while and then build his way up again. Yeah. So, yeah, but Roman's winning anyway, yep. because, let's face it, Elias is more of a low-card role, and he's a time filler at the moment. moment. So, yeah. yeah, Roman's winning. Um, on to the next one. On to the next match. Women's Money in the Bank ladder match, which consists of Nikki Cross replacing Alexa Bliss, Naomi, Natalia, Dana Brooke, Bailey, Mandy Rose, Ember Moon, and Carmella. And... Who are you going with? I'm going with Ember Moon. For me, it's between... I didn't know who the uh, who the competitors were. Ember Moon or Nikki Cross. Then. So I believe it's either going to be Mandy or Nikki Cross. because uh, Mandy because she was... Oh, I'd love to see that, actually. Exactly. You know, and that's what the WWE team... That's what they're, that's what they're thinking, you know. We'd all love to see Mandy pushed a lot. And the same thing... She's getting of, better every day, so... Yeah, you know, and it kind of happened with Kofi... Um, so I think it could happen with Nikki in this case, yeah, um, because Kofi replaced Ali, a stuff for Ali, not Ali, and he obviously went up to there uh, where he is now. So I believe that could happen with Nikki as well. No, oh, that's a that's a great call actually. So, Mandy Rose is one of them that I wouldn't want to see get a title match on the next pay per view, but I definitely think she's getting there. She's holding mon the Money in the Bank briefcase. It will make people 
like like her more. Mm. If that makes sense. I mean, sense. she's doing well at the moment, so it it's for me. It's between Mandy and Nikki. And I'm gonna put a bold prediction out there right now. And uh, let's hope, maybe, fingers crossed, I don't know, maybe I'll get this right, maybe I won't. I'm not saying who, but I think whoever gets the money in the bank briefcase for the women is cashing in on Becky after her match. Yeah, after her that two will, matches. That will happen, that will I happen. think that's going to happen. Uh, the part of me thinks no, because it happened last year on the same pay per view. But also, Becky's having two matches. Realistically, this is the best opportunity you're going to get at Money in the Bank against Becky Lynch after she's competed in two mm. matches. So, without further ado, I'm picking Ember Moon on Nikki Cross, Mandy Rose on Nikki Cross, let's get on to the next match. So the SmackDown Women's Championship match and the Raw Women's Championship match, Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch versus Lacey Evans. I believe she's beating Charlotte. Um, yeah, I, I think something's gonna happen with Lacey. I think I saw a bit of a leaked image where Lacey Evans had side plates and that worries me because Lacey can talk, she gets heat, but she's not getting heat because people don't like her. She's getting heat because as of right now, there is so many other women on the roster that, I don't want to sound disrespectful, but are better than her. She's very, she's green as grass. Um, she has, She's at the Dana Brooke stage or mm. the Eva Marie stage where they were a few years back. Dana's obviously vastly improved, but she shouldn't be in this position right now. No. Um, and that worries me that they might be thinking of putting the belt on her. Mm. But we'll see. I'm picking, I'm staying safe. I'm going to pick Becky Lynch to retain both championships. What yeah. about you? Well, going off what Joe said, when side plates become a thing, it's something that's usually planned yeah. uh, a bit of time beforehand. So yeah, when, definitely. when you just mentioned the side plates thing there, it kind of makes me believe that this is going to be a tough one to call between Lacey and Becky. But I'd like her to retain both, which is why I'm going to say she's going to retain both. Yep. Um, but like you said earlier, the I think the winner of the women's Money in the Bank match will cash in because it is the best time to do yeah, it. And 100%. she's not. Becky is booked to be a tough nut, but she's not that tough like Goldberg or Brock tough to pull double G. Yeah, and like pin the person who cashes in on her. I don't think she's strong enough or. She's going to be... It would be such a waste that. as well if she won that. Yeah. Like, if the person cashed in the same night and lost, that is just such a waste. Yeah. But, yeah, both picking Becky Lynch on to the next match. So, the next match is the WWE Championship match between Kofi Kingston and Kevin Owens. Kofi's winning. Uh, this was meant to go to Daniel Bryan, this match, but obviously he got injured and WWE had already made the plan to go with Kevin Owens after Bryan got medically cleared again. Mm. And just because of that, Kofi's obviously been champion for, what, nearly... A month now yeah and he's not losing it uh, it's just not it can't happen he's been no. champ since WrestleMania it's his first proper title defense on a pay-per-view he's not losing if Kevin Owens wins people aren't gonna be happy no, I don't it, believe. Like, it'd be like the woman cashing in on Becky and losing it it would just be a waste let's be honest yeah because 11 years he's been chasing that title he's got it and after 30 days he loses it it's just not very practical. No, is it? not and at all. Yeah, like you said, a lot of people wouldn't be happy. So, yeah, I, I believe that Kofi's going to retain it. Yep, so do I. On to the next one then. So, this next match is an absolute dream match. AJ Styles versus Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. Now, my analogy of this is, and I look at this as an OCD standpoint, basically. And Vince, Vince looks at it the same way, I believe. AJ Styles has blue side plates, the Universal Championship's red. If you've seen the fan images of putting their Universal title with the AJ Styles side plates, it looks absolutely atrocious. So, them side plates ain't going to be on the title. If AJ wins, I guarantee you they are, will get him new side plates. But AJ's not winning. Um, and I think Seth's going to beat him clean. And another big prediction here from me, Styles is turning heel. He's already acting heelish. Yeah, yeah. He's just got to pull that trigger. And um, I think Rollins is going to retain. Styles may go to shake his hand. Bang! Hits him and just does the beatdown. Mm. So, yeah, Rollins is retaining. Probably a Styles heel turn. But yeah. without further ado, let's get on to the main event. The one that the pay-per-view is named after. The Men's Money in the Bank ladder match. So in the Men's Money in the Bank ladder match, we've got Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, Sami Zayn, Baron Corbin... Finn Balor, 
Ali and Andrade. So, I have been picking... Right, Money in the Bank, that, that they haven't been doing this for the last few years. It's really one of them platforms that you bring a mid-card guy, give them the briefcase, and then eventually give them the championship. Recently, last year, Braun Strowman gets the briefcase and his cash-in ends on a no contest. Like, what is? what was the point in that? Um, and because of that, I'm, I'm predicting two people here. One of them, which I honestly, if he wins, okay. If he doesn't, then I'm, I'm absolutely fine with that because he will get a championship match in the future. First prediction, Drew McIntyre. Next prediction is the one that I really, really want to win. And I have literally, since this time last year, I said I wanted him to win. Ladies and gentlemen, El Idolo Andrade to mm. win the Money in the Bank briefcase. It would be absolutely perfect. Imagine a lovely heel cash in. Andrade, he's, he's my prediction. Drew McIntyre and Andrade. But Andrade, fingers crossed, please win. Would be absolutely amazing. Zach, what about you? I mean... I don't think so much about Andrade, but Drew I'm 100% rooting for because, right. let's face it, last year it was Braun who was the monster in that match and this year it's Drew because, yep. let's face it, Drew is fucking massive. Um, yeah, I, I believe that Drew's going to play a huge part in the match. I think Sammy's going to play quite a huge part in the match because he's a, he's a heel now. Definitely. He could win. Yeah. Um, yeah, Andrade will definitely sell the story if you know what I mean there's like there's always a story in these matches and he'll always he'll contribute yeah, majorly to that yeah. just like Ricochet will um, but no for me I'm just going to stick with Drew Drew's winning for me fair enough that, I mean I can't argue with that that was our money in the bank predictions so let us know what you think in the comment section down below do you agree with us if, if so tell us if you don't agree with us tell us yeah. and uh, yeah please be sure to give this video a like comment and subscribe I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling I've been Zach you guys have been awesome, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. What?